so let us let us explore more about the variable types so i have created a data file let us open it file open data file and numeric variable dot sav open it so here we see the new file that i am talking of this variable this the name of the file is given here numeric variable dot sav and this well very file has three variables first is age and its label is age of the respondent and its type is numeric and measure is scale right and it is shown here also so we have a scale measure the second variable name is age category label is age category with a space in between and then type is numeric and measure is ordinal and ordinal data is shown like this third variable is mar marital and the label is marital status it is still a numeric variable and measure is nominal now how come we got these ones right let us uh, go to and further see it like age age category is one what is meaning of term one you must be wondering marital status five what is meaning of five marital status three what is meaning of marital status three two one right similarly age categories what is meaning of category three what is meaning of category five what is meaning of category three in age category right so you must be wondering this will be clear here so when we are setting up these data types we can specify variable name of course we did that last time and variable type which can be any of these for the time being being we are talking about numeric variable type and width of the variable two digits decimal point zero label is age of the respondent and values let us see what values are so values here we have entered is 98 99 98 is dk 99 is na so if you want you can change this so 98 is like do not know click change and you have changed it and 99 is an a which just means not available right so these are the values we can save them right so whenever we don't know the value 98 will appear whenever we don't have a value not available 99 will appear right missing values what is missing values so if values are missing then we are putting discrete missing values so if you want to put some discrete missing values right if age is missing what value you want to put you want to put zero value zero value means the value is zero right or you want to put 98 for do not know and 99 for not available so it, if a value is missing then there are three options that it is either zero or it is you don't know it or it is not available column is eight right so column is eight let us make it say 24 right and go to data view you see that width of the column has changed to the to the 24 suppose i reduce it here reduce it here to 19 and now the 
width has become 19 i can also reduce it here and see that column width is now 15 only right so this column just means width of the column in which age is specified and whether you want to right align the data okay or left align it or center align it scale measure we have already talked about the scale measure last time right this time we have to talk about ordinal and nominal data so each category is of course in numerical data but this is ordinal data what is meaning of ordinal data ordinal data is like this when i clicked values we have created these values right these are our values ordinal data right this is ordinal data when a respondent has age between 18 to 29 it will be placed it will be given category one right suppose we want to add one more category we can add more categories as well right we can add more categories as well here our last is up to 89 so if you want to make it 99 you can make it change it click ok and then our 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 categories have changed so ordinal data has categories and each category you can you can create it and change it and then if a respondent has age between 18 to 29 it will be given category 1 30 to 39 category 2 and so on so final category is huge 60 to 99 if somebody is between this age that person would be given category 5 right and nominal data is marital status has been taken as nominal data so you see here that if somebody is married that person will be given a value of 1 widowed two divorced three separated four never married five and nine any so if you want to change it to not available you can change it not available click change click change now you see rather than any you have not available right so this way you can for nominal variable you will create these these values and the data will be classified according to these variables right so <clears throat> in data variable data value now if we go here we see age is 26 and category is 1 right and marital status is 5 if you forgot it you still have chance click here value labels now you see let us expand the column width let us expand the column width for marital status right so age is 26 this guy is in this category of course 26 is between 18 to 29 and this guy was never married right so similarly second respondent 48 categories 40 to 49 and divorced right so this way we have this one is numerical variable but this is this is scale variable this is also numerical variable but this is ordinal variable and this is also numeric variable but this is nominal variable right so you can show the values like this right you can give category one rather than exactly giving the value of the category or you can give marital status five rather than giving the exact value of five which is never married right so you have options here but these options are defined under the variable view right and you can change those options right so if if you want to make changes you have to make changes here right so this way spss has numerical variable 
but num again numerical variable can be measured as a scale where we can give values values like 26 48 or it can be ordinal where we can give data categories like 18 to 29 40 to 49 or it can be nominal where we can make groups like 0 1 2 3 4 5 to mean things like things like 0 1 2 3 4 5 to make things like 1 for married 2 for widowed 3 for divorced right so this is a nominal variable so SPSS has a lot of potential and it gives us a lot of flexibility to name the variables thank you